Does it feel like someone is pressing down hard on your face or your forehead? Or do you feel intense pain and pressure behind your eyes? Well, you're not alone. Over 28 million adults are diagnosed each year with sinusitis. So today, we're going to explain exactly what that is. Welcome to the Doctor's Journal. Welcome to the Doctor's Journal, where we help you track your health. I'm Dr. Sunarain. And I'm Dr. Mike. In this episode, we are going to take a closer look at a very common disorder that affects millions around the world. Hashtag sinusitis. Anyone who has experienced sinusitis knows how awful it leaves you feeling. In fact, US records approximately 73 million restricted activity days or aka sick days each year due to sinusitis. And the bill racks up a whopping 5.8 billion in expenses. Our point is this disorder can really disrupt your day-to-day -day life. So what is sinusitis and why does it cause such a fuss? Let's explain. Sinusitis occurs when the lining of the sinuses becomes swollen or inflamed. It occurs as a result of an inflammatory process or an infection from a virus, bacteria or fungus. Right, so let's show you. As we see here, this is a general picture of what your sinuses are. Right, we've got four major sinuses. As we see, frontal, ethmoidal, maxillary and sphenoid. These are the passages that line behind your forehead, your eyes, your cheeks, and they're lined with mucous membranes, which produce the mucus or snot that flows freely from your nose when you're sick. Normally, air moves through your sinuses, but if you have a cold, allergy, or condition that prevents these little hairs in your sinuses from sweeping out that mucus, you end up in, well, a sticky situation. <laughs> That's definitely one way of putting it. That extra mucus can block your sinuses, which now allows bacteria and other germs to go uninterrupted inside your sinuses. This leads to that pain and pressure you may feel. Sinusitis can occur from one of these conditions. Small hairs, or what we call cilia in the sinuses, that fail to properly move mucus out. This may be due to some medical conditions like colds and allergies, which a lot of us know about and may cause too much mucus to be made or block the opening of the sinuses as well. Another thing is deviated nasal septum. Nasal bone spurs or nasal polyps may also block the opening of the sinuses. Now I know what you are thinking. This seems to apply to everyone, but I don't suffer from my sinus. Well, each person's body reacts differently to threats. And yes, sinusitis poses a threat to your respiratory and lymphatic systems. Remember, you are one of the lucky ones, but some people really suffer. Not everyone's body responds the same to an infection. That is very true. Now, one thing you should note is that there are different types of sinusitis. There is acute sinusitis, right? And this is diagnosed when symptoms are present for four weeks or less. This is most commonly caused by the common cold, allergies, and infections. And then we have subacute sinusitis, which is when the swelling is present anytime between one and three months. Next up, we have chronic sinusitis, which occurs when the swelling of the sinuses is present for more than three months. This may be due to bacterial or fungal infection. So how do we avoid sinusitis? Right after this short break, we share with you exactly what to stay clear from. Denise Samuel, a registered dietitian, and today I will be speaking about the benefits of cranberries. Cranberries contain various types of bioactive components, and scientists have been studying the many benefits of cranberries provided by cranberry phytochemicals against cancer and vascular diseases, urinary tract infections, and in recent times, its key role in digestive health. According to research, cranberry juice or cranberries have been shown to inhibit the colonization of H. pylori in the stomach and protect against intestinal inflammation. Cranberries can be included in smoothies, in baked goods, in pasta, rice, and even as part of your daily salads. And as you may guess, we would be preparing a healthy cranberry salad for today's recipe. We want to add two to three cups of chopped lettuce into a bowl. 
one cup of corn kernels or baby corn, one small red onion, then I'm adding quarter cup of olives, which is optional, one small diced cucumber, optional as well, half cup of walnuts. And lastly, quarter cup of dried cranberries. Combine all ingredients evenly, and to top off, we can add quarter cup of grated white cheddar cheese or low-fat cheese of your choice. This salad is great to pair with your main meals or even with a protein source, such as grilled fish or chicken. Be sure to include your low-fat salad dressings of, or just a drizzle of honey. And here we have our cranberry salad. Doesn't it look delicious, guys? Eat healthy and stay positive with O Snacks Omega 3. Enjoy almonds filled with vitamin E, healthy fats, and fiber. Walnuts may decrease bad cholesterol, lower blood pressure, and provide diabetic support. Amp up your vitamin B1 with pecans. Pumpkin seeds are rich in iron, protein, and zinc. Dry cranberries are an antioxidant, heart healthy superfood. Boost your immunity with Omega 3 Mix. O Snacks, a healthier choice. Every year, over 145 million persons seek out the emergency room, most admitted due to ongoing medical conditions. Here on the Doctor's Journal, we aim to fix that by addressing the most prominent and devastating medical conditions faced right here in the Caribbean. And your product can help. If you or anyone you know has a product or service that you would like featured on the Doctor's Journal, contact us today at 266-SGPS. That's 266-7477. Or email us at marketing at sgpstudios.com. Welcome back to the Doctor's Journal, where we are discussing probably one of the most common health disorders affecting us today, sinusitis. Now, before the break, we promised to share how to manage and avoid symptoms of this condition. So, we thought we'd have a little fun with you guys. So, let's play a little game of Guess the Risk. So, we have invited two guests to play. First, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Adrian, also known as Dre. I'm a local content creator slash videographer. And I'm here to kick some glutes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I am Marcus. Uh, my friends call me MG. Um, short for Marcus Gonzalez, of course. Um, <laughs> I love sports. I mostly play football. I watch football. I like to go to the beach. And I love food. Okay, so the rules are simple, guys. When Dr. Mike poses his question to you, the first to press his buzzer gets the first pick on answering. Right? You all can play along with us at home as well. Don't be shy. Right? You have 30 seconds to guess as many times as you want. So, once you guess the answer right, it'll appear on our board behind us. When 30 seconds are up, if there are still items on the board, we hand it over to the next competitor. They will then have 30 seconds to answer. The competitor with the most points wins. Okay, guys, may the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that, Mike. Ah. <laughs> uh, you ready? <laughs> so, what factors can increase your risk of developing sinusitis? Wait, wait. Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, a little too slow. Uh, <laughs> all right. So we go with the obvious. The obvious is um, smoking. Okay. Yeah. Very it's good. Good. Um, stress. <laughs> uh, yeah, X day. That small thing. Um. Um. How about, how about mowing the lawn, like cutting grass? No? Okay, okay. Allergies, allergies. You will give me that. You will give me that, yeah. <laughs> Being around people who just sneeze a lot. Yeah. No? Shots, <laughs> like, um... Ooh, ooh, um, high up, like, plane, like, mountain, like, you're high up in the air, you just gotta breathe and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's on the board, it's on the board. Um, another one, drinking cool water. I'm pulling, I'm pulling straws here right now. Yeah. Um, um, I think that the time has elapsed now. <laughs> so that was a great, a great effort. Right, but there are still some answers left on the board. So let's see what your competitor does. And let's see if he can answer some of these. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see the good boy. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, two. My boy's an obvious one. COVID. No? COVID-19? 
<laughs> no? <laughs> but, um, let me say, um, the insect, um, Vicky Mean System. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's, um, let's see, um, you have broken nose. Uh, so they, uh, Not quite for real look with that. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, unhealthy, eating unhealthy stuff. Um, no? No? <laughs> all right. Um, um, genetics. Yep. Gen oh, yeah, we got right. two out of that one. Okay, that's double jump. Yeah, right, cool. <laughs> um, last one. Um, mm. Let's see, one, one, four. Um, yeah. I. <laughs> and your time has elapsed. Oh, boys. Just one more. Uh, <laughs> right, so Dr. Mike, you want to tell us what the last one is? So the final answer would be large adenoid. Uh, I, I wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Dr. Mike now will explain to us what a large adenoid. So the adenoids are actually part of the lymphatic system that is located at the back of the nasal cavity in close relation to the tonsils. They actually fight off infections and can become inflamed, setting you up for science. So while we're explaining, I think it's important for the viewers at home to know why the genetics was also part um, of, of the board that we have here. We've got cystic fibrosis as well as primary ciliary dyskinesia. Now, both of it, the general gist you need to know from it is that they're both genetic disorders, right? The cystic fibrosis, it's lacking a gene that helps with mucus. So you end up you overproduce mucus on, in that condition, as well as primary ciliary dyskinesia. In that gene, your, your ciliary, which are the little hairs that push the mucus out, aren't working as efficiently. So therefore, the mucus is trapped in the sinuses, therefore giving you a higher risk now of increasing your infection. So now we want to announce our winner. Right. And it has three initials in it. <laughs> it is D-R-I. For Adrian, congrats bro. Good job, man, good job. It was a fair fight, it was a yeah, fair fight. Was a fair fight. Was a fair fight. <laughs> so, did any of these sound familiar to you? If you suffer from sinusitis or sinus, and any of these factors in your life, we are one step closer to relieving at least some of the triggers. So besides risk factors, what should you know about sinusitis then? Symptoms, treatment. Definitely. Right after the break, we have invited a special guest to discuss treatment options available to you. You don't want to miss this. Sneezing, sniffling, scratching? Reacted to your favorite food? Think it might be allergies? We at Allergenics provide personalized diagnosis and treatment for food, drug, contact, and aeroallergens. Call us today at 480-4362. Medical Associates Hospital is the only internationally accredited tertiary healthcare institution in the Caribbean for quality in medical care. Medical Associates gold standard for quality medical treatment, culture of safety for patients and visitors, care based on leading, evidence based best practices and compliance with international standards make us the leader in private hospital care in the Caribbean. Medical Associates Hospital, number one healthcare for the entire family. The best for your baby is at thebesttoys.com. From the best strollers, car seats, baby carriers, high chairs, booster seats, rockers, jumpers and bouncers, walkers, baby blankets, feeding accessories, bathtubs, gyms and playmats, playpens, cribs, baby swings, changing tables, diaper bags, clothing and accessories, and the widest range of educational toys. We carry Infantino, Dr. Brown, Avent, Graco, Chico, Fisher Price, VTech, Leapfrog, Disney Baby, Delta Children, Medela, and Twist Shape. Visit us in store at Forces Flagship Mathene. Shop online now at dbesttoys.com. No credit card required. Free delivery throughout Trinidad and Tobago on orders over $300. Cash or links on delivery. Order via call or WhatsApp at 332 Baby. And remember, we have the best toys at the best prices. Welcome back. If you are now joining us, we are talking about sinusitis. To catch up on what you may have missed, check us out on any of our social media platforms. 
Now, the symptoms of acute sinusitis usually follow a cold that does not get better or one that gets worse after seven to 10 days. So you wanna look out for cough, loss of smell, bad breath. Fatigue and general feeling of being ill. Fever, headache, Right, you also want to look out for pressure like pain, pain behind the eyes, toothache, tenderness on the face, nasal stuffiness and discharge, sore throat and post-nasal drip. Now, if these symptoms persist, then we are looking at chronic sinusitis. The symptoms are the same, but persist beyond 12 weeks. So, if your child is experiencing cold or respiratory illness that has been getting better, and then begins to get worse. Has a fever along with a darker nasal discharge that lasts for at least three days. Nasal discharge with or without a cough that has been present for more than 10 days and is not improving. These may all be the telltale signs of sinusitis. So now that we know the signs and symptoms, how do we get this treated? Well, we have invited Dr. Leon Noel, an ENT specialist, to share with us how we can resolve our sinusitis and finally get some relief. Welcome, Dr. Noel. <laughs> Thank you for having me. So, Dr. Noel, you know, thanks so much for joining us. I think the first question that our viewers would be very concerned with is really, what's the difference between allergic rhinitis and chronic sinusitis? Good question. So, allergic rhinitis, is where these patients have a reaction to an allergen or some substance in the atmosphere and the immune system reacts to it, right? As a result, they get inflammation of the lining of their nasal cavity. Whereas sinusitis, which is not completely separate from it, is not a separate entity, but is sometimes a continuation where they have inflammation of the lining of the sinus cavity, right? The sinuses, which lie forehead, the frontal sinuses. You have between the eyes, the ethmoid, and the cheeks, maxillary sinus, and deep in the skull, the sphenoid sinus. They all drain into the nasal cavity. Right. When these passages are blocked, the sinuses accumulate mucus. They build up, the pressure is building up. They sometimes get infected, right? And that's where they get symptoms such as facial pain or, or pressure, headaches. They get blocked nose, a discharge, whether it be coming out from the front of the nose or drip to the back of the nose. They sometimes have a loss of smell. Whereas in allergic rhinitis, they tend to have an itchy nose, runny nose, they sneeze a lot, watery eyes, right? And it's, these symptoms are more short when they move away from the, from the insulting allergen Whereas in sinusitis, it's more for days. So can you tell us what might mimic sinusitis as well? What other conditions? Right, so other conditions such as if these patients have a tumor or growth in the nose, they could block the nose, they can have problems to breathe. Mm -hmm. They may sometimes get a discharge as well. Right. In younger kids, they tend to stuff things up their nose. They may have a, a foreign object in the nose. Right. and they tend to have a discharge from the nose, a foul smelling discharge actually, right? Okay. Some patients tend to have a clear discharge mm -hmm. and you want to make sure it's not brain fluid that's dripping forward, right? Okay. So all of these different things can mimic um, sinusitis. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Noel, how would you go about diagnosing these patients? Right, so when these patients come to my practice, mm -hmm. right, I first take a good history because the history would allow me to to differentiate whether it's allergies or they may have had the common cold or flu, which more or less brings on the sinusitis. And after I take the history, I then examine them. So I pass a camera into the nose, I look around to see what, you know, if there are some anatomical abnormality that may contribute if they, to the blocking of this drainage of the sinuses. And all these will give me an idea as to whether it's a allergic rhinitis or sinusitis. Um, when I do now put everything together, I could then commence treatment. So how would you treat these patients generally? Right, so generally these patients need supportive care. Right. 
So for example, if you know the trigger is from a viral infection or the common cold, mm -hmm. right? Simple saline washes will suffice, right? right? Sometimes you can use a decongestant, which is a, a special medication you use, you put in the nose and it helps shrink the tissues and allow them to breathe much better, right? Um, added to that, you have topical steroids, we call it intranasal sprays or steroids, right? And sometimes you can use an um, allergy medication, as we call it, or antihistamine, right? So, um for patients and all of yours listening um, who may have sinusitis, how would they prevent it or how would you suggest they prevent it? Right, so most commonly is as a continuation of allergies. So one of the major prevent prevention is to stay away from what might cause it, right? Other things such as the cold or flu, right now we have coronavirus going around and one of the best prevention is actually using the face mask. Right. Other things is good hygiene, making sure that all the, the air around us is clean, purified, and does not contain any particles that may insult or cause any irritation to the lining of your nose. So Dr. Noel, what are some of the common myths or misconceptions people might have about sinusitis? So one of the common myths I see in my practice are patients who come and ask for antibiotics to dry up their sinus. <laughs> Um, so, sinusitis is not necessarily an infection, and antibiotics are only used if you have a bacterial infection. Um, as we mentioned before, it could be a virus or just mucus buildup there. So, unless it's confirmed to be a bacterial infection, whereby they have a foul smelling discharge, pressure, fever, and generally unwell, antibiotics won't work for this, right? Another myth I've also noted is patients always use in this inhaler. And the inhalers, they contain certain oils, one of them menthol, eucalyptus, and it gives a cooling sensation to the nose, making the patient think that they are breathing better, when in fact, it actually does the opposite, where it's more, it swells the nose, and it make, after a while, they become dependent on these inhalers, right? right? So it's good for a short period of time, but thereafter it can cause some problems to the patients. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Noel, when should these patients go to visit the doctor? So patients should actually seek ENT or general practitioners um, consult or advise if these symptoms are persisting beyond five to 10 days. And at this point in time, you want to prevent any of the complications. So they should go and see one of these doctors to help guide them through a treatment plan. Well, Dr. Noel, you know, thanks so much for joining us and sharing such important information. When we come back, we shed some more light on what you can do to prevent and manage your health. Don't go anywhere. At Athena Clinic, we're committed to helping you boost your confidence and live your best life. Enhance your appearance with a non-surgical procedure or optimize your health with one of our expert doctor consultations and diet and fitness plan. Call today at 282-2262. The best birthday gifts are at thebesttoys.com. Shop for the best brands you love at the best prices. Like VTech, LeapFrog, Fisher-Price, Play-Doh, Hot Wheels, Bobby, Coco Melon, LOL, Baby Alive, Crayola, Lego, Nerf, and Remote Control Vehicles, Kids Learning Desks and Educational Toys, Ride-Ons, Bikes, Drones, Science Toys, and Board Games and Puzzles, and a wide range of baby items. We also have the best devices for school, like laptops, the Amazon Fire 7 tablet, the Amazon Fire 8, 10, and Kids Edition tabs, as well as cases and accessories. Visit us in-store at Forces Flagship Mac Bean. Shop online now at dbesttoys.com. No credit card required. Free delivery throughout Trinidad and Tobago on orders over $300. Cash or links on delivery. Order via call or WhatsApp at 32DBEST to order. And remember, we have the best toys at the best prices.
Are you looking for a customizable studio space with green and white screen cyclorama and professional production equipment to carry out your next big project? SGP Studios is the perfect fit for you. TNT's largest studio space with an overhead lighting grid and sound treated. Perfect for television commercials, music videos, television programs, social media content and film productions. We also have a wide range of production equipment available for rental. You can choose from a selection of Netflix approved cameras, modern lighting equipment, professional audio gear, 40 foot and 20 foot cranes, gimbals, drones, lenses, action cameras and more, all at competitive prices. Whether you need a high-end cinema camera for feature film shoot, specialized lighting equipment for a music video or audio gear for a podcast, we've got you covered. And with our easy online booking system, you can reserve the gear you need in just a few clicks. Check us out online at sgpstudios.com. Welcome back to the Doctor's Journal. Let's touch on something that I know everyone needs and wants to know. Yep. How we can help prevent or treat sinusitis at home. Important to note, this advice is just to help with some of the symptoms of acute sinusitis. But if this still persists, please go to your doctor. Firstly, at home, you'd want to try antipyretics and decongestants. Also, you want to try pain relievers. We can also use this along with a simple pot of water. What I have here is a bowl and a kettle, so I'm going to show you how it works. You're going to boil your water and pour it into a bowl. Right, as you can see, it's already producing some steam. Right? Now, simple, you're going to use a towel, put it over your head, just to help the steam stay with you on your face. So it's going to be like this. Now, while you're doing that, you're going to waft the steam towards your face. Keep in mind, don't keep the steam on your face for long periods without breaks, as this can cause burns. Now, just look out. Sometimes, when you clear your sinuses quickly, you may experience a rebound headache from its clearing. But that will go away. Another option for those who may have a nebulizer at home, all you need is to add 5 ml of normal saline to this bottom little vessel here. Right? You can find that in most pharmacies. Right? All you want to do is turn on the machine, Right, and as you see there, mist is produced. Right, what are you going to do next? You're going to put the mask over your face, and this can be done multiple times a day. Another thing that can be used at home is antihistamines, also known as some of your favorite allergy meds. Now, if these at home remedies do not alleviate your symptoms, please go to your doctor. Furthermore, we can try nasal saline irrigation at home. First, you want to fill your bottle with normal saline, so something like this. We can either use normal saline or boiled water with, some of them usually come with a little salt, pre-mixed salt packet, right? You want to take your bowl or you can go over the sink, right? Now, Dr. Mike is going to be kind enough to help us demonstrate. Here's your bottle. All right now you want to tilt your head sideways over the bowl or sink placing the opening in the upper nostril keeping in mind that water runs down so it goes into the upper nostril important to note please breathe through your mouth while doing this gently pour the salt water solution into your upper nostril and it will drain through the lower nostril this can be repeated right here dr mike Sorry. and this can be repeated for the next side Thank you so much, Dr. Mike, for demonstrating this for us. Hopefully, you at home have learned some easy ways to help get some relief at home. Most sinus infections can be cured with self-care measures and medical treatment. If you are having repeated attacks, don't suffer in silence. Go get checked by your doctor. I'm Dr. Sunarayan. And I'm Dr. Mike. If you've missed any part of this episode, go check us out on social media. Thank you for joining us on The Doctor's Journal. Take care of yourself. The Doctor's Journal was brought to you by O Snacks and Medical Associates Hospital.